This is a quick overview of the iCopy Plus 2.1. Out of the box, it comes with the board for writing the EEPROM from screen to screen and the vibrate motor, and the battery testing board. I'm gonna demo the screen copying um, function for True Tone first. So you hold the power button to turn it on. You're going to take your original screen and connect it to the appropriate connector. This right here is a 10S, so we're going to connect it to the 10S cable. You'll get this screen that comes up whenever it's ready. You want to press read. That's going to copy the information from the old screen. You're going to disconnect that. You're going to connect your new screen. Same connector. Notice this one is blank in the information. So you're going to click right. And once it's done, you'll get data, data write complete. And you'll notice now the same information that was on the other screen is now on your new screen. This should retain true tone when you're uh, checking the settings of the device. And that's about it. So we disconnect that. The screen is good to go. Put those to the side. I'll demo the battery function now. We do recommend turning it off in between board swaps. You can use a spudger to lift the board out. Like that one just popped out. Press it back in. Turn the machine back on. And same thing here, you're going to connect the uh, battery connector that you're testing to the appropriate connector on the board. So this was a, this is a 7 plus. The data it gives you um, that's relevant is the max capacity, um, the current charge percent of the battery, the cycle count. You notice this one's 1260, which is pretty high. We recommend changing batteries when you hit the over 300 mark. The models percent, that's the design or what percentage it's at compared to design. So this one's at 81%. Um, so it's not going to that full 100 that it used to. Um, and based off of those three points, the max capacity, the models, uh, percentage, the cycle count, that's where we kind of tell if it's time to replace the battery or not. Um, and that's pretty much it for using the iCopy Plus 2.1.